Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some Loxley darts for you today. We've got the Christian Kiss. I haven't seen much about him recently, so it's going to be nice to see his dart. I remember using a set of his when he was first on the scene and he really made it big. And he's really making a comeback now as well. And I'm looking forward to big things from him. Um, the dart itself looks fairly sort of like simplistic. I do like the gold and obviously the box looks really nice with his picture on. But what I think we'll do is we'll head on over to the table, get them out and have a closer look. Okay, so we're over at the table with some Loxley Christian Kiss Darts. These are the World Champion Edition. We got them in the 22 gram, the 90% tungsten. Very understated box, but really striking with this orange and image of Kiss there as well. Window showing the dart setup and the flights inside. Over on the back, we have some information there from Loxley and information about Kiss himself, uh, with his nickname being Lipstick. Some follow us information from all their media channels, barcode showing the weight and that as well. Let's get the darts out, have a closer look. My EVA foam insert, which is quite standard from Loxley, it does what it needs to, keeping everything in place so it doesn't get damaged in transit or anything. Very striking orange flights there with the red lipstick on there as well. Let's get the darts out, have a closer look. Starting at the front, we have a standard black coated point, adds a bit of extra grip going into the board. And then we have this almost conical tapered nose um, with the standard sort of like kissed ring grip going all the way down. And then we have a slightly parallel section here. And then obviously it tapers down going to the back section of the dart. What I really do like about kiss darts is that the ring and grooves go from the front to the back. So it doesn't matter where you're holding, you're getting the same sort of like feel with the rings and the grooves. Obviously having this tapered section here, you do have a push point, which is something I really, really do like about darts. Um, on the taper at the front with the conical nose, the grooves start almost right at the front. They are slightly square cut, but it's not a sharp square cut. So it feels quite nice. And obviously at the widest parallel section here it's about a third to half of the dart going from here to the midsection um really really striking in the gold um not too grippy my finger and thumb isn't slipping into those grooves too bad they're not too deep um but the grooves themselves are about half the width of the ring. Um, going at the back, we have the black Loxley logo etched in there to that wider ring section. And then we have this white sort of tweeny sort of Loxley stem as well. Do like having a push point. The balance is slightly forward, um, not quite right at the forward, I'd say about the third of the dart, but that's on the wider section. Measurements on this, it is 48.25 millimetres in length, so not a bad sort of length there, but at the wider section it is 7.1 millimetres. So quite a wide section here, but with that sort of conical nose, you're going to get a nice angle so you can still get decent grouping. What I think we'll do is we'll go and head on over to the board and we'll have a throw and see how we can get on with them. Okay, so we're over in the dark room with the Loxley Christian Kiss Starts. Like the looks of these, it gives me a nice push point and it, they do look good in the gold. Gonna have a couple of throws to get used to them before going into our practice routine. So let's see how we get on. Oh, threw that last one a little bit wide, only at 41. Need to make a little bit of an adjustment. It's got quite a simple sort of ring grip on there, but obviously with the shape, I'm just pushing it behind the little taper. There we go. And a nice steady ton. There we go. We made the adjustment. I think we should be okay so we can go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Pulled that last one, 41, 160 left to get. Need to make the adjustment again, so I'll put it back in. Oh. 
140. That's much better. We've left ourselves just 20. And in one. There we go. Definitely made the adjustment. They felt really comfortable to throw. Obviously, like I said, I'm throwing on that push point, just sort of like a two thirds of the barrel. The widest part is nice sort of like parallel sort of section at the front as well. But uh, yeah, let's go have a final thought. Well, I was more than happy with that. Done it in seven darts in the end. I know I could have done it a little bit better. I think if I had a bit longer with them or had a couple more sort of like tries or anything, I'd definitely sort of like peak that at least six or less, I reckon. They felt nice. They flew through the air really, really well. Um, it's quite a simplistic sort of like standard ring grip, um, but where it sort of like angles slightly, it does give a little bit extra. I'm going to give it a grip rating of two. My fingers slipped into the grooves relatively well and it wasn't catching, which is always my biggest worry when it comes to like a deep groove or anything like that, feeling like that square cut. But this one didn't really catch and I got fairly consistent release each and every time. Um, weights that it comes in is 22 and 24 grams. Not a massive range, but I think that's enough for most people. It's in keeping with the player's start and it's given an extra choice as well. Um, price point is actually really, really good. £54.95. It's a player's start at that price. I think it's fantastic. It's 90% tungsten as well. Um, and I don't think you're going to be too disappointed because the grip goes all the way down the dart. So whether you're a rear, mid or front gripper, you're getting the same grip and consistency. And obviously the weight's going to be shifted down at the front as well. Um, if you've got a set of these or you're looking at getting a set or you've got any questions or anything, head down to the comment section. Let us know. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Been a little bit absent minded, but I am getting through the backlog slow and steady. Um, Make sure you head on over to dartsreviews.tv. There's lots of reviews of all the darts that we've done in the past. Might be something on there that you've been thinking of getting. Head on on, have a look. Might help you make your mind up. Make sure you head on over to dartsplanet.tv as well. Lots of stuff in there, articles and competitions, all sorts. Uh, something whether you've got five minutes, 10 minutes, or even half an hour, you might even get engrossed and read through the whole thing without stopping. Uh, make sure you tick subscribe and tick the notification bell. Lots of stuff coming up in the future, not just reviews and that, there's other stuff up as well and there's always a little surprise here and there so make sure you come back check us out again soon bye